All right, today we're going to be talking about what's called combinatorics. And the first thing we're going to talk about is the fundamental counting principle. If, event, if one event, which we're, we're going to say is E sub 1, can occur m ways, and the other event, oh sorry, m1 ways, and the other event, E2, can occur m2 ways, then they can occur together m1 times m two ways. So let's say I want to roll a die, pick a card from a standard deck, and flip a coin. How many total ways could this happen? Well, if you roll a die, six things can happen because there's six sides. So you could have one through six times how many different cards are there in a standard deck? There's 52 times how many things can happen when you flip a coin? Two, you either get heads or tails. So these things could happen together 624 ways. So let's look at a license plate. The standard configuration for a Virginia license plate is three letters followed by four numbers. So how many possible license plates are available? Well, for the first letter, we have 26 options and 26 options for the second letter and 26 options for the third letter. Then for the digits, remember, you can have zero through nine, which means there's 10 options for the first, second, third, and fourth numbers in the license plate. If you multiply that together, you get 175 million, 760, thousand license plates. Now what if the letters can't be repeated? We still have 26 options for our first letter, but once we use that letter, that means there's only 25 options for the second and only 24 options for the third. It doesn't say anything about numbers not repeating, so that's still 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. If you wanted to write it as 10 to the fourth, you could do that too. And that end up, ends up giving us 156 million possible license plates. What if we couldn't repeat the letters or the numbers? So we already know the letters will be 26 times 25 times 24. For the numbers, it would be 10 times 9 times 8 times seven, which would be 78,624,000 options for the license plates. So let's say 10 students are competing in the Parkview Talent Show. How many different ways can all the contestants place, assuming that there's no ties? So since 10 students are competing, there's 10 options for first place. But once we pick first place, there's only nine options left for second, and then only eight options left for third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and only one person left over for 10th place. Which gives us 3,628,000 ways that they could be placed, and that's only with 10 students involved. Now, what if we were just worried about first, second, and third? Well, we have 10 options for first place, nine options for second place, and eight options for third. It's a lot shorter. That gives us 720 options. What these things are called when we're putting things in order, P for putting in order, are called permutations. Now this formula right here is on your SOL formula sheet. However, instead of doing that formula, you can use the calculator. If you go to math, then go over to probability, it's 
number two, and it says N, P, R. N is your number of things you're choosing from, total. R is the ones that you want at that one time. So like for this one, we have 10 places, we're putting them in order, and we're doing the first three places. This one would be 10, P, 10, because of the 10 things, we're putting all 10 in order. So let's look at the next example. Let's say you're making a list of hikes on the Appalachian Trail for fall break. You have 10 available hikes, but you only want to go on six of them. How many poten different potential itineraries can you make? Now, when you're making an itinerary, you're saying the order that you're going to do things in. So we would have 10 trails. We want to put them in a certain order, and we're going to choose six of the trails. So on your calculator, you would do 10 maths, go over to probability, the prob menu, and choose NPR, and then 6. And that means, cut off a little bit, there's 151,200 different itineraries. What if the order that you did your hikes in didn't matter? Then it's no longer a permutation. It would be what's called, whoop, wrong way, a combination, which on your calculator, it's in the same menu, you go to math, you go over to prob, and it's number three for NCR. Now, if you notice, both of the formulas have this little exclamation point in it. It's called a factorial. What it does is let's say you have five factorial. What that means is five times four times three times two times one. But the exclamation point just shortens it instead of writing it all out. So if we're going on our calculator, Let's plan our trips again. We've got 10 trails, and we want six of them, but we don't care about the order, so we're going to use C. We do that on our calculators. 10, math, go over to probability. Oh, too far. We're going to choose NCR, but see here, number four, that's the exclamation point for factorial if you ever need it because you forget how to use NCR and NPR. And then we're going to choose six trails. Now there's only 210 different hikes that we can take. Now, two things to notice about these answers. You don't have x equals or anything. The answer is just the number of possibilities. And make sure you guys are using commas appropriately in your numbers because these numbers get kind of big. So let's look at a deck of cards. Deck of cards has 32, or sorry, deck of cards has 52 cards. How many ways are there to deal a five card hand? Well, if we're starting with a deck of 52 cards, the order you deal the cards in, the order doesn't matter. So it'll be a combination. and we're going to choose five cards out of the deck. So on the calculator. Now, instead of having to go back to math and over to prob, you can either, on the newer calculators, which you guys have in class and will have for the SOL, you can go up here and copy and paste it. The other thing you can do is if you push second, enter, it'll come back up, and we can just go over and say we want 52 at the beginning, arrow back over and change the 6 to a 5. So there are 2,598,960 ways to deal a card. So 
So how many five card hands have all five cards the same color? Now in the deck, half the cards are red and half the cards are black. So now we've narrowed it down to 26 cards that we're choosing from. So, and we want to choose five that are all the same color. Now the key thing is there's two colors. So after we get this number, we have to multiply it by two. So there's 65,780 ways times the fact that there's two different colors. So there's 131,360 ways to get a five card hand where all five cards are the same color. Now just for fun, if any of you guys play poker, they're all the same color, that's called a flush. If you do 331,560 This means, if we multiply this by 100, you have a 5% chance of getting a flush when you play poker. Those are not very good chances. Don't gamble. The odds are not in your favor. That's all for today. See you in class.